Got another question on the periodicity topic. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so for part A, we've got to give the definition for first ionization energy. So that's the energy needed to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of gaseous atoms. And we can always back that up with this equation. Part B, explain why the first ionization energy show a general increase going across the period. So that's because we have an extra proton in the nucleus each time. We've got the same amount of shielding. The atomic radius is decreasing. And so therefore there's a greater nuclear attraction for the outer electrons. And then the next part, we've got to talk about one of the anomalies. So boron versus beryllium, which doesn't follow the trend. So why is boron's first ionization energy less than beryllium's, even though it comes after, it's got the extra proton, etc. That's because in boron, the electron has been removed from a 2p subshell, whereas in beryllium, it's been removed from a 2s subshell. The 2p subshell is higher in energy than 2s, and so therefore it's easier to remove, or less energy is needed to remove the electron in boron. Equation for the second ionization energy of oxygen. So we're going from the one plus ion gaseous form to the two plus ion again in the gaseous form. Remember the state symbol for all ionization energy equations is always G. And finally, suggest why the second ionization energy of oxygen has a greater value than the first. So there's a couple of answers you could give. First one, the O plus ion is smaller than the O atom. Obviously, there'll be a greater attraction, therefore, as a result of that on the electrons. Or you could talk about the proton to electron ratio. So in the atom, you've got eight protons and eight electrons. It's like a one-to-one -one ratio between the two obviously charged particles. Whereas in the one plus ion, you've lost an electron. So you've got a higher uh, proton to electron ratio in the ion. And again, that would lead to a greater attraction on the remaining electrons.